Well, he basically asked them to describe in one word what dating is like for them. And they had negative terms like ghetto. And so, but they were just kind of joking around. But they're, the woman on the left is kind of, she kind of mentioned like being in a cycle with like guys that she dates. It's like the same pattern. And so Hafiz is asking them to explain that in more detail. Talk about your current experience because it's probably yeah right now the cycle is men approaching me and telling me that they don't want what i want but i continue to talk to them and i'm doing that over and over again now when i heard this part i just related because i don't know why we do that you know as women innately we do stuff like that where if a guy approaches us and tells us that they don't want what we want we'll still talk to them and it's i don't know why we think subconsciously that we can change their minds because we can't and honestly if a guy is telling you like if he's already telling you up front that he doesn't want what you want that's a sign to walk away and that 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 person is not for you but so many times we try to work through that and it's just i think it's just innately as women we're that's in our nature to do that and it sucks for us because I've been in that situation and I look back on it and I'm just like, if I had just listened and walked away, it could have saved me so much of this pain, unnecessary pain. Okay, so men approaching you and telling you, they, I don't want what you want mm -hmm. off the rip. Yes. And what is that you want? I want a relationship. And they're like, I don't want a relationship. Yes. But then you're like, I'm going to convince him to want a relationship. No. Mm. So I'm not sticking around to convince. It's just some type of chemistry that I feel that is like, uh, like I want to continue like the companionship and the friendship and it's not like I cut everybody else off like yeah. I believe in dating multiple people yeah, until you find office. somebody that you want to be exclusive with of course. Um, yeah. but I always end up really liking the person that I can't have mm. so that's that's my cycle anyway okay thank you all the transparency Colby what about you <laughs> um I would say kind of men approaching as well um and then just what I wonder when they say men approaching I wonder if they mean I just wonder if they mean through social media or if they mean in person because i've heard that in person dating is hard and men aren't, men aren't approaching that's what i've heard but i know you know i know logically and intellectually that if a man is interested in you if he's attracted to you he will come up to you and speak to you and a lot of times we you know we, we play this game sometimes where like a guy's looking at us and we're looking at him and we're like well should i say something no honey because there's no excuse for him not to. Like, I had to learn that men are natural born hunters and they're going to go after what they want. He's not that. I know it's different personalities, but you can't use the excuse of, oh, maybe he's shy. Maybe he's insecure. Maybe this, maybe that. No, the man for you, though, is going to approach you. Like, if he's not approaching you, then he's not for you. And once I switched my mind to that, it made it so much easier for me to be like, just let it go. Like, yeah, this guy may be talking to you a lot. He may be, or not talking to you a lot, but he may be, um, making a lot of eye contact or doing a lot of things like that but if he's not like saying like and being um adamant and initiating what he wants like but not what these girls are saying but if he is saying like what he wants like that's the type of person for you not really stating intentions up front which is probably an issue mm. so you just kind of fall into a situation ship. yeah so i remember what she said she said well she's saying like as well um and then just not really stating yeah not stating your intentions and this is a mistake that i've made in the past um where the thing for me was i kind of already knew in my mind and in my life that me being 22 and where i am in life i just really didn't want to focus on dating i didn't i really just didn't want to yeah i've said that on my channel before i didn't want to focus on dating but sometimes i find myself in situations where i would come across a guy and i'm like okay you know what he is attractive let's just keep this going let's just keep texting and even though that's, I mean, I don't know why I was, you know, who wants to text all day, but, um, and I'll just, you know, with no intention behind it, just keep communicating just for the fun of it. But really, I'm doing myself a disservice because I'm wasting my time, but I'm like, you know, I have no intentions in my mind, but I'm just going with the flow. You never want to go with the flow. Like I wanted to go with the flow, but because of the person that I am, that the knowledge that I've gained wouldn't allow me to. So I had to just say, I had to be real with myself and say, you don't have any intentions. You don't have ser serious intentions with this person. You're not looking for a boyfriend. You're not looking to date and, you know, be anything serious right now. So why are you doing it? And it was the same with him. Neither did he, right? I mean, according to what he said, who knows what his intentions were. But if intentions aren't clearly stated at the beginning, what are we doing? Because the last thing we want to do is fall into a situationship.
intentions up front, which is probably an issue. Mm. So you just kind of fall into a situationship. And like she said, we kind of both know what we want. Um, yeah. And I think that a lot of guys that we date are typically not usually ready to settle down. So yeah. we kind of just end up having to get out of that cycle and then get back in the cycle with somebody what, else. What is their avatar? I'm very, I'm very curious. What, what is, how do, how do these guys look? Is there a, a, a height, a wallet size, a skin no. color preference? I think they all look different. They uh, all, all black. They're all black, yes. But, but you know what I mean? There's, 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 there's Will and there's Carlton. You know what I mean? I don't have a type, though. Like, if you were to literally line up all the guys that I talked to in the last couple of years, they would just be a range of different people. They don't, they're, they're not the same skin color, height, like nothing. But, in, but I think there's something inside that attracts you to men, both you guys. There's something about, there's an energy that they're giving off. And that energy usually has characteristics tied to mm -hmm. it. One of them hmm. sounds like to me, they don't want to commit. So when I'm thinking guys who are just having fun, who can meet beautiful women like you, approach you first, he's confident. Yes. So he's already coming off a lot of confidence. Then he's approaching okay. you guys enough to tell you straight up, I don't, Yo, I don't want you, <laughs> seriously. Yep. That's some, that's some, you, you gotta, gotta instill energy. That, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> you gotta have confidence, you gotta, that ain't no regular guy. It doesn't seem very regular. And then for you to find something interesting in him enough to say, hmm, I'm gonna keep going. I feel like there's things about him that don't the out, Side might look different. Mm -hmm. There's something inside that you're really drawn to. Yeah, that's interesting. And they're going to talk about that a little bit. And I'll just comment. She said, they said that they were both black guys. And I'll be honest, I relate. Like, I don't see myself dating outside of my race. That's just my preference. And then I also feel like, you know, in order for me to, if a guy approaches me, in order for me to um, continue with that and continue to pursue that and agree with that, I just have to be attracted. Like, I got to be attracted to you physically at first obviously like i have to look at you and say are you cute <laughs> that's it like are you cute it don't really matter what your skin tone is it don't really matter what your height or weight is but it's just are you cute to me that's what determines it if i will continue to talk to you i wonder what that is i have an idea but i'm curious if you know i mean for me for me specifically i honestly don't the people that come to mind when i think about the cycle they don't have anything in common other than like they're ambitious and confident, but normally exactly for both of them, they're not necessarily guys that I would pick. Like it's just their approach and their consistency of like trying to talk to me is what got me into the cycle, but it wasn't necessarily, cause they're so different when I like really think about them, but like we could have really good conversations and I felt comfortable. So maybe that's what it is. It's like being comfort comfortable with these people and like- Do they make you laugh a lot too? You don't meet, that's a no <laughs> that's a no but that's key though like you really somebody told me this in high school a guy told me this like he was like a big brother to me he was like nicole because i'll be like going through stuff with guys and stuff he'll be like but you worried about this guy does he even know how to make you laugh and that's key like if somebody is attracted to you like we want to see people that we're attracted to to happy laughing smiling relaxed and being like a guy being able to make a girl laugh is so key and just so, it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing. I can, I can say I've never really met. And the thing is, I, I laugh a lot. I laugh at everything. And I still have never really met a guy or like dated a guy that just knew how to make me laugh for real. Like, to me, it's not like the charm to the I point where like it. these guys, you know, make it. You no, know, those charming guys, and I can just speak about myself. <laughs> they, can, they can make you feel comfortable, make you laugh. They can talk about the goal. They have their purpose, their ambitions. It all sounds good, especially when most women don't meet those guys like that. Mm -hmm. So they're going to stick out. And you stick out. <laughs> LOL. But yeah, like charming. I don't think I've ever really met a charming guy. I'll be honest. I, I've just, or maybe I just wasn't attracted to them and didn't really want to think of them as charming. Like maybe I wasn't attracted to them physically, but the day where a guy approaches me and he's charming, I feel comfortable. He's making me laugh. We're connecting, we're vibing. Y'all let me know when that's going to be because I'll, I'll let y'all know, but have not had that happen yet. You can keep women around respectfully. Do you feel like that's something in the case? I don't know. I feel like we're the charmers. We're the comedians. Like y'all approached me. It was something I was giving off. It's something. Maybe I'm thinking. I think it's what she said. Like, <laughs> she said. Like, no, that's pretty. No. no. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, wait. Ooh, corny, corny. Throwing tomatoes. That's right, that's right. That's right. Tomatoes. <laughs> Are you guys not very attractive women? But that's not it. Like, that's, there's when more. When they see you from across the way, yeah. 
what are they noticing? Your amazing personality? <laughs> but I could be like a bum and like crying on my phone. Like if, if I'm doing... This, no, 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 but no, I'm no, saying no, no. if my personality plays a part because if I'm not really enjoying myself and I'm like on my phone and I'm off to the side, I don't look like a fun person. Why Men would... still shoot. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, so basically at this part, they were just kind of t saying that like basically if a guy is shooting his shot at you just in the streets he's obviously going based off of what he sees so you know your face um has he doesn't even know you yet doesn't know your personality doesn't know anything about your your pockets your goals nothing it's just all about your face and if it's attractive to him your face and your body and they'll do it like they're saying he'll they'll do it even if you don't look approachable like even if you're at the gym or something but if he's attracted to that face and that body he'll do it no matter what your demeanor is because again like if this guy is confident, like men are going to be confident in this, they're going to be um, like the hunters when it comes to this. The shooters are going to shoot. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. the reality is just because a guy is cute don't mean that you guys give him time of day. I don't believe that. That is true. So that's why I, I'm interested in always when women are like, mm -hmm. oh, this guy's usually approached me. I'm like, hmm, it's very, it's a, I'm always interested in what that guy is like inside. So, Kobe, how would you describe that guy? I mean, she said both of the words, like, that came to my mind were confident and ambitious. Yeah. I think. People see us and like we kind of hold ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like we're also very confident, we're successful. Mm -hmm. And I think that the men who approach us have that same kind of feeling. And I think a lot of men who are ambitious and confident are that way with many women. I still I still need a little bit more detail. Okay, go ahead. Please. You know what I mean? Because okay. these guys are coming up to him and say, I don't want a committed relationship. No, oh my god, that. it's no, not no, like it's not so cut and dry. Okay. It's, it's it, and it's not immediate because of course when you meet somebody yeah, in yeah. these situations i didn't necessarily know their situation um but over time it's like what are you what do you want and you're like well i'm not interested or i have something going on that kind of keeps me from wanting something else see whenever a guy says i have something going on i mean to be honest like whenever a guy says i have something going on that's that's, I think that's actually like when a, the more a guy tells you the better because then the less you have to kind of guess and pick and choose and free between the lines with, like with his actions and figure out what his actions mean like being a consistent not really texting back it's like okay but if you're just up front and say you have a lot going on perfect because i'm not for you then <laughs> because if i was for you you would fit me into what you have going on so that's that to me just sticks out as a person when a guy says that it's a red flag of okay i'm gonna move on i'm not gonna keep talking to you i'm not gonna keep going into this cycle that you're talking about i'm gonna use what you say and be wise and move on or more with someone mm -hmm. so it comes out over time it wasn't immediate how long is it over time like how much time like, like a week or two mm -hmm. yeah does that make you feel better it's like ninja's coming up to us hey i like that. i don't, okay. I don't okay. want to okay. be your boyfriend my question to you is so after they say that after a week are you still giving them time of day she just said she was okay so why is my question because the that's chemistry. what i'm trying to that's what i'm trying to get back to the guys like i think you hit it yeah yeah, yeah. the guys that she's meeting mm -hmm. are very charming guys yes they have to be looking a certain way they gotta be dressed in a certain way they gotta have no, beards they that is not true it's a friend <laughs> let it go let it go let no, it go let it go the last guy i would never talk to him in real Why? life okay. oh yeah i'm gonna <laughs> skip this part. i'm gonna skip this part and it's because i haven't i already heard it. i'm gonna see you to another part Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. not officially but he kind of already has that and so that I, was perfectly stated. I just want to look in the camera. I don't even know this man. <laughs> and he just read me. Okay, let's see what he said. I was attached. The second girl. Girl like you. So then afterwards, he finally ends a relationship, you know, and then he, then he gets the second girl. And then he gets what he's always wanted. Mm -hmm. And that's you. Mm -hmm. But what's happened is that he spent so much time with this other girl that he's kind of now attached. He's kind of now used to the comfortability and the security that she provided him for all these years as he's been building himself up. Yeah. To where now when he meets you, you're everything that he feels like he wants, but then he still has his needs met from this pseudo other partner. Ooh. So then at the same time, then now what this guy tells you is I'm not looking for a relationship because he really already has one. Not Ooh. officially. What did I tell y'all? 
What did I tell y'all? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Not officially, but he kind of already has that. And so... That I, was perfectly stated. I just want to look in the camera. I don't even know this man. <laughs> and he just read me to feel. That's accurate. Yeah. That's very accurate. Yeah. I would say that's very accurate yeah. to both of the situations that I experienced, yeah. for sure. You know, and, and so to oh. me, like, that's why it makes a lot of sense why you meet these kind of guys, but then they're probably not as eager to commit. Yeah, for sure. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. To the T. Yeah. Unfortunately. The second wife that just never gets married. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. No, 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 Nico got married. Um <gasps> who? Isn't that, is that Kevin Hart's wife's name? Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh uh, my Nico. god. That'll be reduced to that. Uh, Nico? I yeah. mean she's beautiful. Yeah, she's a beautiful great woman. Gown. She's a great woman. Beautiful, beautiful gown. Beautiful gown. Beautiful gown. Yeah. yeah. Joggers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said Nico. I'm like, uh, what's her name? Is her name Anika? It's something like that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. what's no shot, Mr. Hart? Um, <laughs> I love true story, by the way, Mr. Hart on Netflix. It's a good show. <laughs> it really is. It's beautifully produced. Yeah. Check it out. Beautifully. <laughs> and so, Kobe, I'm, I'm interested for you. What would you say is the guy in your past that you had the strongest feelings for? Ooh, that's a good question. Ooh. What is the question? No. <laughs> what what, what would you question? say is the guy of your past that you had the strongest feelings for? Like name the person? No, you don't no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa. Just like I, I, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. I want. I want. I want to be specific. Okay. I want you to envision because you already know who he is. You don't need time to figure oh, it out. Gosh. The guy in your past you had the strongest feelings for. Can you describe what this guy is like? Okay. There's the one. It's always a one. It's always <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't have that. I'll be honest. I don't know how old these girls are, but I don't have no way that I have strong feelings for. <laughs> 